Hello, here's the scenario. You would like to set up a SugarSync account to share a large file with a team member for a work or class project. The computer that you are working on is not your own, so installing an application is not an option for you. Your team member has an email account, but has indicated that they do not want to set up an account with SugarSync. Moreover, you do not feel comfortable entering credit card information and have no immediate need for larger than 5 gigabytes worth of storage. Task 1. Please go to SugarSync and create a new account where you don't have to enter any credit card information. Okay. After you finish the task, I'll interview about your experience. Okay, so we are at SugarSync.com and I'm going to click on Sign Up and I don't want to pay anything so I'm going to try and do this free 30-day trial. Um, so I guess I'm going to click on the lowest plan and say begin trial and see if it'll start my 30-day free trial. So I'm typing in my information and my email address now. And let's see. Primary mobile device. I don't know that I need to really. I'm going to say I don't use a mobile device because I don't know why I would need this. Well, I'll just click Android since that's what I have, but I'm not sure why I need that yet. Um, and so um, remember that you do not feel comfortable entering credit card information I know that uh, so as I didn't see any other way to, to get a 30 day free trial without this though what so would you do now I would hit the back button until and get back to the main page and let's see, need more storage? No, Super Sync for business. Five gigabyte free plan all the way down here at the bottom. I could probably do that. There we go. So I'm filling out my information again, and we'll see how this works this time. Well, there we go. So, um, do I want to download SugarSync? This isn't my computer, so... No. Um, Installing an application is not an option for you. Right. So, um, is there a way to skip this step? I don't know, and I'm not supposed to tell you. That didn't do anything. So I guess I'm going to go back to the beginning again because I'm not sure where to go from here. Well, <clears throat> you've completed the task of going to SugarSync and creating a new account yes. where you don't have to enter a credit card number. Except I didn't, I don't know if I, I, did I complete that without downloading the software? That I don't know. All it says is where you don't have to enter a credit card information. So you've okay. created a new account, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe it'll just let me log in. So, well, let's see if this will log me in. Um, Oh, okay, verification email. So I guess I'll check my email now. So I'm going to the Gmail website and I guess I need to log my husband out of his account. 
so I can log in. There we go. So I'm logging in. There we go. Okay. So do do do. Uh, so here's my email. Please activate my sugar sync account. Verify my email address. Right on. Here we go. So let's see what happens when I log in. Okay, well, I guess I'm in, even though I didn't download that stuff, though it was kind of a roundabout way to have to get here. Great. You have completed this task. <coughs> Great. It looks like we're ready to move on to the next task. Now, I would like you to create a new folder on SugarSync that will be used to house files that you will share. Okay. So, I'm looking at my options on the page, and I don't see anything about just creating a new folder, so... I'm going to I think I'm going to start by uploading a file because I'm guessing that maybe it will allow me to create a folder when I upload the file. Um, to start, generate your upload by email address by clicking enable in the sections below. to the getting started because that didn't make sense to me. So how about I just go to files? No thanks. I don't want to have a manager on the computer. So oh look, create a new folder. So let's do that and um let's see. Create a new folder on SugarSync that will be used to house files you will share. And I'm going to name it Shared Files. And I'm going to put it in the Shared Folders. Oh, can't add a folder there? Okay. I add a folder here. Okay, well. Great. You are done with this task. Great. Now to move on to the last part of our session. Task three is to upload and share a file with a moderator who is not a member via email. Okay. So. I'll write down my email address for you. Thank you. So I guess I'm going to start from where I ended here last time. I'm going to click on Upload. And so this is the document that we want to share. So I'm going to upload that. OK, Start Upload. And I'm assuming it's uploading. You don't see any sort of a progress bar or anything like that. It's a pretty small file, so um, maybe no. I guess we'll just sit here and wait. and see if it uploads. Hmm. <laughs> Would you like to try to upload a different file? Sure. I'll go ahead and cancel. 
And we'll go back here again to upload. What? Uh, just, it's a photo on my desktop. No idea what it is. Okay, so here it is. Okay, start upload. Oh, well, look, now we have some, some progress going here, so that's better. Um, upload complete. So, oh, and pending upload. What does that mean? Um, what's the problem there? I don't know. If I right click? No, it doesn't tell me what that means. I'm curious. Okay, well, so I want this actually to be in the folder I created, right? Well, let me do that. <laughs> Cancel. Well, I'm going to email this. I'm just going to email this to Mike Sincula premiumdw.com. I guess the task didn't say that it had to be in the folder I created, right? It so did not. Here is the file you've been waiting for. Dot, dot, dot. Is that it? Congratulations. I just, I just earned 125 megabytes? Well, yeah, I'd like to get more free storage. What's this all about? Oh, weird. Okay, well. You've completed task number three. Thank you for your time.